President Trump is on Capitol Hill pushing House Republicans to vote yes on today's vote to reform the tax code. Under the leadership of President Trump and Speaker Ryan and Chairman Brady, we are on the precipice of passing a fair, flatter, simpler, more competitive tax code. The House plan cuts the corporate tax rate from 35% down to 20%. It also doubles the standard deduction for individuals and families, but it eliminates the state and local tax deductions known as SALT. Congressmen from some high tax states say eliminating the SALT deductions unfairly hurts their constituents. We donate $48 billion more to the federal government than we get back. We get 79 cents back on the dollar, unlike states like South Carolina that get a dollar 35 back on the dollar. Getting tax reform through the House is one thing, but the margin for passage in the Senate is much tighter, and at least one Republican is now saying he'll vote no. I wouldn't vote for this Senate version. Bottom line, this is, this is, there's a real problem here in terms of the equitable treatment of you know, past your entities. Senator Ron Johnson says he's opposed to the current Senate plan because he says it benefits larger corporations more than small businesses. And Republican Senator Susan Collins is not happy that the Senate bill includes the repeal of Obamacare's individual mandate, saying adding a health care issue to the tax bill does not make sense. Collins has not yet said how she will vote. Mo Lulenghi, CBS News, Capitol Hill.